everyone I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Lenovo Think Center the model is an M715Q and in this video I'm gonna take you on a step by step how you can open it up and how you can service and clean and replace the thermal paste on your uh, computer if yours is really sounding like a jet engine and it's overheating the temperatures are really rising maybe you might want to replace it but you should do your own servicing once in a year depending how many hours a day is used for if you're using it 24 hours it's turned on you might want to do it every six months and it's really recommended it's super easy it doesn't take even 10 minutes i would say i can do it under five probably let's see how long this video lasts and i start opening it all right before we open i'm gonna go over the tools that i'll be using tool number one is a one sheet of the workshop towel. The reason is, I'll let you know, don't use a microfiber in a second. Number two is an alcohol. Isopropolic or isopropolic 90% plus, 95, 98, that's fine. The reason for micro, uh, for this workshop towel is because as soon as you put an alcohol on top of this one and you try to clean the components, the motherboard, anything like that, this will rip apart really easy and it will prevent the damage on the components. Uh, but if you use a microfiber towel, those things can tangle around the components and it can damage the components on the motherboard. So alcohol, this one, uh, spatula, plastic one is good to scrub the old thermal paste if it's really hard. You need a screwdriver set, a Phillips screwdriver. A Phillips number one, I use the iFix screwdriver set. They're really good to have handy around the house. Okay, with these two on hand, uh, what else if am I missing anything? Oh yeah, the most important one, a thermal paste. You can use whichever thermal paste you like. I'll be using Arctic MX4. You can use the Arctic MX6, which is really good. But if you want to go with a Noctua, you can go with a Noctua. But if you want to go overboard with the best of the best, go with the Thermal Grizzly thermal paste. Again, for this computer, for this PC, for this type of CPUs, Arctic MX4 or MX6, that's uh, the best I would recommend. All right, with all this on hand, let's get into it. So at the back of the PC, you want to see one screw in the middle. Mine has a little easy rotation with a handle. Yours might be flat. You want to remove it with a Phillips screwdriver or with the hand. I just went flying, right? Then what you want to do, you want to hold the bottom and pull the top cover towards this side, towards the front. And you're gonna see a gap opening in here, just like that. I can't pull no more. So pretty much it's going like this. Okay. Once you have it in this format, you just wanna simply lift it up like that, scoop it out. And there we have it. You might wanna clean up your top cover, clean up the dust machine here. This one already is being serviced, is almost half clean. All right, right after that. We're going to unplug the speaker cable, just pull it up gently. There's a cable only goes in one way, that's for the speaker in here. You want to remove three screws for the fan, one, two, three screws. Once you remove these three screws, you can lift up the fan, bring it to one side. And you don't, to disconnect this one, you have to remove this VGA adapter right in here. But I will honestly do not go through the hassle of removing this one with the pliers and stuff like that. Just take it outside, use a toothbrush to clean up the fan and blow some air through here and you'll be fine. And your might be, your, yours might be really clogged in here. I'll leave a picture of how it was before. So to remove the heat sink, you want to remove four screws. One, two, three, four. Remove these four screws. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you want to support the channel, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. All right, now the screws are loosened up. The screws will not come out entirely because they have a little something called a C-lock that will prevent the screw coming out. So you just have to rotate them and then pull them up. It's still not loose enough. Yours might be a little harder because of the thermal paste. So you still gotta pull it out. The thermal paste is kind of sucking on it. So 
if I see that the thermal paste is really pressed on it and it's not letting it come out, you have to move it around and there we go. Just don't yank it too hard, just slowly, it just snaps out. And then what you want to do, once you have it in this position, you want to pull it towards the front, wiggle it around gently. Don't force, grab it from here. And it has to let go of this right there. So don't pull it too hard, otherwise it's going to bend the tubing. And there is the thermal paste. It was really stuck on it. To clean the thermal paste, you want to grab a little bit of workshop towels. Soak it in an alcohol. And wipe the thermal paste off top. If you have a thermal paste on the, in here somewhere in there, don't worry about it. You don't have to be nifty about it and go ahead and cleaning it. Just leave it as long as you clean the top uh, metal right on top, you're fine. Clean up the heat sink. There we go. Once you clean it, now in here you can go whichever you want. You want to put up one big drop in the middle, you can do an X shape. Uh, spread it around. I made a video uh, so you guys can see which one is more effective. Check that link in the video description. But honestly, the one I did before this one, I'll put a big drop right in the middle. Just like that, it's, I will say about the size of, you can see it, it's covering the E riser. So it's pretty much the size of E, which is right in there. So that's more than enough, that's fine. That's all you want to do. And you saw how much it was covered before. That's how much I applied. So you want to bring it down in 45 degree angle, put the heat sink, the top of it inside this connector. Make sure the screw hole right there goes right on top. Push it that way. I want to make sure that the screw hole is showing. Bring it down, make sure the screws are matching on the motherboard. And what you want to do, you want to cross the screw them. So I screw that one over there. You screw the one right all the way in this side, and then the rest. This cross screwing is very important to spread the thermal paste evenly across the CPU. Once you have that one in there, again, you remember you take it outside, clean it with a toothbrush, put the fan on top, and put the three screws right over. There we go. Uh, uh, you might want to, before you put anything, you might want to connect the speaker cables in there. But if you forgot to put the speaker cable in there, just loosen up one screw for the hard drive in here. And then pull it back, lift it up, and that way you get easily to plug in the connector for the speakers. Again, if you don't like this speaker in here, don't connect it, just leave it loose. Some people don't like it because it's really annoying. It makes the beep sound. All right, and slide back in the hard drive and tighten up the hard drive. All right, grab the bottom cover that you cleaned up, put it in an offset position. Make sure it sits down in offset position and push it toward the back. And to finish it off is to put the back screw. And that should cover up today's video. Again, I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys to service your Lenovo Think Center and 715Q model. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in the video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.